But I'm going to quickly restart the game because otherwise it gets stupid laggy. Oh, so we're just uh, skipping the uh, the other run? Yeah, Rom gave up. He couldn't reconnect to the server. Oh, rip, dude. dude. Alright. I'm also going to switch my timer to real time. Also, my. Uh... You should move oh, ignite. Yeah, you should here, move, to be no move ignite in here too. How do hey. I turn on. How do I do yeah, streamer up, mode thing? Enable streamer mode. Cool. Go to the little gear. <laughs> And then it's on yeah. stream remote. It's like the last little option. Yeah, I got it already. Yeah, I think we later. Discord quick. So I already did, dude. We got, oh, okay. got your back. Okay, cool. Uh, to say all my preview. Reminder to slash host DJ and hum. Alright, um, ready whenever. Alright, countdown from three and end on go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Alright, so. First of all, we're gonna skip the training because training is slow. And then straight away, we're gonna do some some L jumps. Ah, oh, dude, they're called drifting. Drifting. Sorry, we're gonna do some drifts. What you see me doing here, like uh, shifting my camera really fast, like this. It's called a side jump boost. It just gets me to max speed instantly. This is a kick glitch. Um, <laughs> that's not a kick glitch. Oh, man. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not a kick did glitch. You, did you go for the double? Maybe. Oh my. This guy. So that's pretty good off the bat. I'm kind of glad I don't have the chat up right now. <laughs> so, uh, let's go back to that. There we go, that's a double kick glitch. Rexy, help me, I don't know how to explain, it's too fast. Alright, so... You kick it, wall, platform, jump, easy. Yeah, um, as soon as you um, exit a wall with a kick, you get like this little invisible platform under you for This is going like, as, frame. as bad as I thought it would. 126 vent. And yeah, you can jump off that little uh, platform under face. So yeah, like a two start. frame window. So uh, one frame. Scroll wheel. One frame. Dang! I missed another kick glitch. I hope this isn't a recurring thing. If your mouse is broken. That's good. But yeah, kick glitches in this run are pretty much frame perfect. Uh, so to hit kick glitches consistently, like Hecky's doing right now. Wow, he, uh, nice turn. Binds the, uh, <laughs> he binds the uh, down scroll to uh, jump on his mouse, so he can like do a bunch of jump inputs all at once. So this helicopter's, uh, this helicopter's on a timer. If you get there too early, you can't grab it. It's just because this game's good. I'm really bad at explaining stuff. Help again, Rexy. Uh, I, I missed another one. one. You got this, you got this. So, uh... I made a special thing for you guys. You're gonna like it, maybe. It's coming up right here. It's a, it's a, a little Frankazy with, with thing. 
and stuff. A little I made that for you, dude. Uh, Kaku. Well, you made the image and Kaku put it in the game for me. Thanks for making the image, by the way. So, those cards that I just went past are arguably RNG. They usually don't bother you if you go fast enough. And right here is the first out of bounds in the game. We're gonna kick Lich on the wall to come back. Did it too early on the wall, so that's pretty good. Had the lag spike. It's going well. So yeah, we're gonna hop out of bounds and the other area is deloaded now. So we're gonna go over the gap, slide down, and we would come out behind me to the right. Skips about uh, 15 seconds of crawling through some vents. Also, there's no checkpoints here for like a while, so. Speed vault, uh, bunny hopping out of a speed vault like this gives you increased speed. So, you'll probably see me do that a lot. Also, wall boosting can get you up to 45 kilometers an hour. I mean, wall webbing, sorry. Wall yeah, I'm really bad at explaining. I thought you would do it all for me. No, you're doing good. So right now we can I go around this fence by kick glitching in front of it and then swinging my camera to the left to force a speed bot. Here's something cool, maybe, if I get it. It's a recent discovery. One, two... I think that it you can uh you can clip on top of this elevator and then get into the next area before you should be able to. Saving like five seconds. But I missed it of course. Right there I did a side jump boost into a wall boost. Gives you a ton of speed and saves like 0 0.5 seconds. Also here's another skip to skip going up there. I'm taking this slide here. Pretty lengthy. So did you uh, did you explain wall boosting and how that works? I didn't explain how it works, but I explained the speed. Yeah, um, you pretty much just uh, um, start a wall run and then you immediately jump out of it. Yeah, and it gives so you like, some pretty good speed. As soon as you get on the wall, just scroll your mouse wheel and you get a bunch of speed. Like that. The and angle that. affects it as well. If you look like deeper into the wall, you can now yep, get deeply. a lot more speed than just going along with it. The deeper you look, the more speed you will get. Also, uh, with kick glitches, the longer you stay on the wall affects your angle. So I stayed on the wall for a bit then. I don't know why I spun around to show you, but I stayed on the wall for a bit and it forced me sideways. Kick glitch angling is pretty cool in this game. Like, it's probably one of the most consistent glitches in the speedrun. It's pretty great for like movement and stuff. Not as consistent as kick glitches on console. Though. Yeah, here's the infamous bucket skip. Just uh, get on the bucket, and you can get over the fence without doing some pipe climbing. Uh, so right now, I'm gonna try a, I guess, segmented strat that people have started using in runs. Where you can come up here and go out of bounds. Yeah, it's called cannoli. Because I'm a bully, pretty much. So we come Why up is it here. Called because hate SRL doesn't know how to pronounce things. <laughs> so uh, we're out of bounds now. We're gonna come down onto this tiny ledge. We'll boost along. We're probably not gonna get this because my hands are pretty shaky right now. So. Just a simple kick glitch chain. And I missed the kick glitch. <sighs> so I'm not going to try that again. I'll just show you the route that we would have had to take to get to where that yeah. would take us. Cannoli is pretty difficult because you have to chain four like really uh, like precise kick glitches. And every angle has to be like really good essentially. 
So we're just gonna go along inbounds now instead of doing it the way that we just did. And by looking down here, you can avoid uh, getting your kick destroyed by the guards. Because if a guard is near you and you try to do a kick glitch, you can't do it. It just like sucks you towards the floor or something. So in here, I'm going to be doing a button animation skip on the valve by binding use to mouse wheel up and then just scrolling whilst I'm doing another animation because it can't double animate in this game so it just sort of like it does it for you without you having to see it here's another out of bounds probably the easiest one in the game just jumping over a fence because dice are good by the way uh, the people that made this game also made the battlefield just, uh, just throwing that in there. So I hit uh, my alt key. I have to quit out and reload here because I didn't get the, the death. I hit my alt key to spin me around. What it actually does is uh, aims like straight towards the checkpoint. So it tells you where to go. Like if I press it now, it, was, no, it won't spin me because I don't have an objective. But yeah. It uh, just shows me where to go for the casual people. Yeah, so he got only would have uh, started yeah. in the storm drain. In the green room where the gate was, I would have ended up. So, uh, which saves about like 45 seconds. Gonna try and skip this ladder here by going fast. Good. Springboards carry your momentum into them. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, I failed something. Springboards carry your momentum, but they're also still pretty slow, so you should avoid them if you can. Yeah, you get a lot of air time with springboards, they're very slow. Also, I want to defend myself and say this game is extremely hard. <laughs> I'm not just awful at this game, even though I am. I'm awful because the game's hard. Right here we can do a jump sequence onto this, uh, I guess like a handrail, but for some reason you can stand on it. Floops is requesting some B-movie talk. B-movie talk? It's, a, like, it's pretty family friendly I'd say. Alright, I'm going to talk about B-movie. B-movie is a terrible movie because uh, some lady falls in love with a bee who becomes a lawyer and uh, sues people for making honey. It's, it's, uh, really I just bad. want to point out that they never actually start dating in the movie, so... <laughs> no, I don't know, man. Like, she, I think she was going to do something to that bee. Pretty sure bees die if they uh, sting. Why did, I, why did I come back to you guys talking about bee movies? Bee movie's good. We just watched it before the stream. <laughs> bee movie's bad, dude. Bee movie's good. So right here, I can hop onto this railing. And if I stay on the railing long enough, I can change my angle before I jump. Allowing me to get into a wall run on this wall here. And then do a turn jump from this to go up the place onto the thing. And here's like, I guess the first real bit of downtime where you just wait for this. You usually have this moment to take a sip of a drink or something. Also yeah, if you, you could just read some donations out if you want. <laughs> yeah, you should read some donations. No, 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 no. That's, that's not a donation, dude. <laughs> so this is what I was talking about with elevator clips. You can get on top of the elevator. and then get into the next loading zones before they load. I mean, I would just go straight for the zip line, but the elevator thinks I'm still inside it, so I can't do anything for like a certain amount of time. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm kinda mad because you couldn't even hear me reading the donation on your stream because I'm too quiet. I'm sorry. I'm gonna end my life, honestly. So this is Chase. We should be chasing a guy right now, but he's not here. Because we didn't spawn him. 
So now we're chasing a ghost and you can hear his footsteps and stuff. Nice moon bounce on the zip line. Thanks, dude. Reminder to kick cancer's breath. Reminder to uh, save the animals. Greetings yeah, from Germany. Yeah. Greetings from Germany. <laughs> I need to explain more stuff, but I don't know what to explain. I like. Uh, usually in any percent, we would do. Uh, we would quit out in that hallway and then load back in towards the, this elevator. So it's like a second with load removal. Oh. Also, I free scrolled that button with my cheating mouse because it makes it go up faster and saves me time. I think it's like two seconds it saves by spamming inputs on it. You'll see that again in the next chapter. What? Please, uh, say, say make America great again. How can you make America great again if America's not great? No. Dude, Milk got offended. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I'll tell Milk, cut the so, screen. Uh, this is a, an alt time <laughs> where if you hit hint, it just spins you around immediately. You can uh, you can just jump as soon as it spins you around and speed vault anything in front of you. If an objective is in the right place where it makes you look straightforward. That's a pretty kind of awkward vent jump. Doing a uh, 3A to 3C? No. Yeah, he is. Okay, I'm just gonna do this way instead. So, this is the first clip of the game. You can get on this railing, clip through the light. Because, again, great game by Dice. And then, if you hit, hit a checkpoint, we're gonna quit and reload, otherwise, we can't actually load the next place. And now we're in the office where the checkpoint was. The infamous office with the with the great climb and the bright walls. Alright, good. You go right side on the light. On the what? On the light, dude. What do you mean? Grab the right. Oh. Is there another way? Oh. For the lamp. Yeah, yeah. That's the, uh, that's the kill some bitches kick glitch, named after our great success in Mr. Warris, who was the first man to get sub 30 minutes on this video game. That's a loud elevator that I just cheated by uh, using free scroll. You can make it open a lot faster. So this game is basically pay to win. Is there anything I've forgotten to explain, like anything big? Has Why can you download the double jump mod? Ah yeah, Please. the double jump mod. Uh, you can get that from my website, btspeedruns.com. <laughs> so, uh, there's supposed to be guards here, but we skipped the trigger for them, so we can just do whatever we want. Without being hassled. And uh, up here is an elevator, but it's faster to quit and reload on because you spawn outside. I think it's faster RTA and no loads. But you just wait for the checkpoint in the bottom left, the indication, and then you quit to the main menu, continue. And then you can uh, hold W in this white screen. It gives you full speed when you spawn, but I moved my mouse in the cutscene so I was looking at a wall. Pretty good. Okay, now this is 4D. In my opinion, the noob slayer. It's pretty difficult. So, uh, Josh says good luck, by the way. Thanks, Jack. You can do a kick glitch on this building. Uh, said 3D. Said 4D. 4D Just like to put that out there, you know. Okay. Yeah, it's checkpoint 3D. <laughs> The, the place where you do a kick glitch on that wall is curved, so it's pretty hard to get the right angle every time. But with enough practice you can sort of like, make it consistent. 
And now we're taking these cranes. Uh, there's, a, there's a trick you can do that skips these. Skips going on that crane, but it's like too hard. You can uh, you jump from this building over here that just faded out. <laughs> there's like a frame perfect kick glitch. It's pretty difficult. You've probably seen it because I'm pretty sure most of the people watching this have seen a Mirror's Edge speedrun. Uh, this is a thing I like to call Spider-Man Climb. Don't know who found it, but it reminds me of Spider-Man, so... <laughs> yep, this is a... Uh, this is like... Uh, that wall boost on there is pretty tight to get over the fence, but now we're gonna like slide in this hole and hit a checkpoint down here. Do some pause buffering. To hit the checkpoint, you can see there's a tick there now. And we die, and for some reason, there's ground here. Like, uh, there's supposed to be an escalator here, but now there's not. So we can just like jump back inbounds and continue. I'm not sure how much that skips, it's like a lot. It's one of the really big ones. So that's, that was called blue wall. Just a wall boost all along the wall. To beat the train. You can also do it without doing blue wall, but blue wall is fast. So, uh, see if I can get uh, two trains here. Not looking good. No, I'm kidding, it looks pretty okay. These trains are like load based and RNG based at the same time. Got two trains, pretty good. It's on two trains. Am I missing anything? I feel like I'm missing something really big and important. Like one of the speed techs. Mm. Ground cages? Do we explain ground cages? Uh, Is there one coming up anyway? Like there's none coming up, but I can explain one anyway. Even though this train's really loud, so I don't know if it'll like... Just tab out. I can't, I'm in full screen. <laughs> No. Basically a ground kick glitch only works on the right side because when you do a kick glitch from the left side it's a few frames longer so you can't actually jump before you hit the floor. So he wants us to jump to the other train because this is high octane and not an auto scroller. This is a, it's it's a pretty hype part of the run probably one of the best parts of the run, in my opinion. It's pretty good for taking a drink. So you just sort of like stand here for a bit. <coughs> now if you stand on these light bits here, for some reason you don't die when you hit this. You can just beat by the door immediately. This game is like very optimized, it's pretty good. Also saving a bunch of time over my PB right now. So this one's pretty difficult. There's like an invisible wall that we need to land on after doing a kick glitch here. I think I missed it. No, I got it. It's like the length of this thing here that you need to land on. It's also a noob slayer. It's pretty hard. There's like a not too much slower backup you can do. Good time, Rexy. You're supposed to help me. This run's going by fast, we're already halfway. So in this place you have to go super slow, otherwise the game's gonna be like, nah, and not let you go. Because uh, you it's loading two things at once and it cancels out one of them, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. If you go too fast this elevator doesn't spawn. So I, uh, I failed the elevator clip there, because I'm good at this game. And they're like easy, but yeah. Have to wait in here now. Usually I would be up on these boxes in front of me, waiting to move, and I would be up on the roof now already. But it's okay. 
That's a poker glitch. Another noob slayer. Lots of things in this game slay noobs. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, but I really feel like I'm missing something like really important. Uh, you're good. You're good. Just keep in mind, no matter how bad your commentary is, everybody was gonna tell you it's good. Yeah, you're right, you're right. So uh, here you can skip climbing the poles. And the low trigger for the the next area is like pretty much connected to the pole. But you can just like rub on the pole as you go past into a war end. It's pretty good. Loads the next area and you can just not climb pipes. Although these pipes, you have to climb and they're really silly so we're gonna kick glitch over this gap and get like a pretty tight one here cool double yeah, speed tight jumps oh this. yeah you can uh, you can force a speed vault by pressing w at the right time i don't know if you know that rexy you probably do I tried. They're not easy. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, you can do a kick glitch into a wall run. I don't know if I've done one of those yet. Like on the same wall. You just, uh, it's pretty hard to do though. Like they're nowhere near consistent. Yeah, you have to get like a really straight kick glitch. Okay, so once this elevator's done and I go through a vent, it's going to be a pretty uh, hard trick, I guess. You only have one frame to do it. Yeah, it's like frame perfect. So uh, essentially... Like, I guess we could explain yeah, how the beamer works, yeah? Yeah. Do you want to do that or...? Um, yeah, sure. Um, you basically do a wall climb to, uh, like, two different types of walls. Like, one is sticking out, and on the right frame you could do, like, a Q-turn. And, uh, if you do the Q-turn right when, like, the wall is switching, uh, it'll launch you out backwards. And, uh, it's pretty much how Beamer works, I guess. I don't know if I explain it properly. It's basically, you see this wall pops out from the other one, on the frame that I pop out of the wall. I need to hit the 180 turn button. And then that shoots me backwards and I jump at the top to, uh... Oh, nice. Good job, me. So, uh, that skips like, uh, 30 or 40 seconds, I think. Also, this skips a bunch as well. Saves running all the way around and going through more vents. Do a nice first try. <laughs> Almost. Almost first. So here's another bit of downtime. There's not much downtime in this game apart from elevators, but... Yeah, you just have to wait for this fan, otherwise you're gonna die. I guess I'll show you this way of doing it because it looks cool. You can just wait till it's done, then you can roll in here and not have to do a roll or a drop kick. Yeah, you can cancel fall damage by doing a drop kick before you hit the ground, or you that, can cancel the That's the important animation. thing that I was missing. I knew it. I'll probably do it here, maybe. No, I don't have to do it there. I'll be doing it a bunch more, so I'll just show. Yeah, the next chapter we'll have a few I think. Coming up is chapter 6 now which is my favorite chapter. I think it's Phyllis favorite as well. So uh, straight away we're gonna do like a really cool skip. But we're gonna grab this pole up here because uh, I'm not sure a bunch of people are getting mad at me right now for grabbing the pole. But yeah, if you grab the pole, it sets a checkpoint for you. 
So if you die doing that thing that I just did, you'll spawn not right at the start of the level. So right now we're going to do a kick glitch on this wall. And then we're going to pause the game and the rest is going to load around us. I'm not sure how much that saves, but I know it's quite a lot. And then for added pleasure, we're going to press a button through a wall to save even more time. Dude, nice lamp jump. Thanks, dude. It's the easy version. Everyone should do it. So this is also a, a funky skip. Where you can just... Uh, if you get on and off this wall like really fast, you get like a slow bolt. And you can just grab this here for some reason. And that skips a whole bunch. Also, this is going to be loud. So I free scrolled that to uh, make it go away faster. I'm saying um a lot, I think. Oh well, it's fine. Just don't mingly me. I also free scrolled that to save another two seconds. Because Logitech mice are OP in this video game. It's, uh, we can't move until these guys give me permission. So now I can get out. And we're going to skip this whole area here. Instead of going all the way around, we're just going to do a simple turn jump. <sighs> right here is like is a... Run gonna be, uh, is this run going to be sub 40? Hmm, I doubt it. I have like 10 minutes. This elevator is like really prone to crashing. But lucky it didn't crash. So we good. So if we can get some window RNG. We did not get any window RNG. But we're going to make it look cool anyway by doing that. Basically like a... Uh, window RNG is where the guards will shoot out the last window for you. And then you can get like a... Kick glitch on the door frame. <coughs> Window frame, sorry. It's not a door. Be a, pretty, be a pretty weird door. Just leads to nowhere. <laughs> what was I saying? Um, no, before that. Oh yeah. If you uh, if you jump towards something, you can break like a door or a window and then you kick or punch like super early it just like breaks it as soon as you touch it without doing any animations for some reason also this is the uh, best chapter in the game straight away we're gonna go out of bounds what, what, is, what is this chapter called Hickey? oh god don't don't do it do not do it it's, it's called the boat <laughs> no we have to do it <coughs> This, this chapter is called boat The Boat, and uh, this is the boat. We're supposed to be in that boat. About four What's minutes up? worth of story mode is uh, inside that boat. But we're just going to go over this fence, maybe. Yeah, this chapter is like under a minute if you're fast. And now we're going to fall and get a checkpoint and respawn and we just skipped like five checkpoints or something I think that's one of the biggest skips in the game saving about four yeah, minutes it's like, it's like checkpoint E or something yep yeah. and now we fight this person hello so uh, you're supposed to punch her six times but <coughs> I don't know how recent the discovery was but you can disarm her after hitting her five times even though she doesn't show that you can which is pretty neat, save some time and now we're going to jump on this pole to avoid a hard roll hard roll? just rolling, I mean and here's another RNG guy but he was nice, so I got past him again, usually uh, if you're fast you can outrun the RNG those black guys. I don't like those guys. Now we're gonna do a kick glitch side jump boost oh, over that gap. Dude, they, they, uh, they what? They do what to our runs? Don't worry about it. 
the American Ninja Warriors, dude. <laughs> yeah, this American. is a regulator. Always plays some reggae music. It's pretty funk. Even if you have music in game settings turned down to zero, you can still hear music in there. So now we're going to do two kick glitches here to skip going down there and climbing a pipe. Also, there's no checkpoint in, in this entire area, so I'm going to go pretty safe, I think. You can skip those poles by like not looking at them, I guess is the best way to explain that. <laughs> if you like aren't looking in a way that you can grab the pole, then it doesn't let you and you just go through it for some reason. Also, you can repeatedly press this button. It doesn't do anything, but you can do it because it's annoying. And now here is the atrium, which is a lot of people's favorite room, but I really don't like it. I'm also not going to do chimp's stupid strats here. I'm going to do this one instead. That one's pretty cool. Did we do any infinite wall climbing? Should no. I? Okay, I don't need to explain that. Or I could do fill time or something. This atrium is like one of the hardest rooms to do casually. Right now we're going to skip some vents by uh, getting out of bounds here. Not as easy as that looked. And then we're going to do an infinite wall climb, kind of. Which is essentially where you can sidestep side jump boost out of a, a wall climb but then if you look back into the wall you can like wall run on the wall and then whilst you're wall running you can hit Q and then do the same thing over and over again to get to like infinite heights as long as there's two walls close enough to each other so uh, here I'm gonna kill myself life wish so I can spawn the truck early and nice. shoot it no through. No didn't know that uh, that hitting the last six times or five times. Yeah, like you can I'm gonna shoot it through this one. Good die, dude. Yeah. Also, I have a surprise for you guys. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I'm scared. This Thomas Tank Engineer. He does like a sick, uh, sick stuff. Thomas the Dank Engine. This totally beats a rat. <laughs> Dude, what? This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Oh, what? <laughs> 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 what? That's, uh, so good. that's Thomas. Yeah. Uh, Keku made that mod. Pretty cool guy. <laughs> Uh, there I just did a thing more. that's kind of awkward, where you can skip going around the side of the thing. It's a pretty precise jump, but it's not too hard. And I'm gonna free scroll that valve, because <coughs> you have to activate the fire, because blowing things up in this game is super good. Also, uh, I'm a bit late, but volume warning. My bad. One door you can't uh, kick down. Yep, from the window you can't kick. I'm also going to just press this button, because if you glitch in this elevator... <laughs> oh, oh yeah, if you like scroll too hard when doing the button animation skip, you get stuck in the elevators. So, I didn't do it here in case I got stuck, because it's a long way back. <laughs> so now I'm going to try another segmented strat. For pleasure of people that get to watch me fail it. I'll try it once and then I'll go the normal way. So, uh, what is this thread? Is it missing the chair springboard? Basically, if you get a perfect circle in there with reaction time you can keep your speed. And uh, this thing is pretty precise but there's like a vent that can help you. Oh no, I didn't get it. Basically, uh, you land in a tiny room and then you can walk off to a checkpoint, which is a lot later in the level. 
Oh, just a tiny bit too high, I think. But yeah, um, now I'll show you what would have happened. If you aim at these clusters here, and then uh, hit reaction time as you come out. I think this one looks cooler, actually. Wait for the buildings to despawn, and then this light thing, when it comes up the top of your screen, hit unpause, and uh, the level will load around you. Now we're in this golden room of gold. Yeah, golden room of gold. Nice. You get like a pretty cool looking speed vault here, which I didn't do, but yeah. I keep saying but yeah, I need to stop saying but yeah. Coming up towards the end of the run now. Crawling in vents in this game is super uneventful, and you can't do anything to speed yourself up in here. Wow. What? Uneventful. Oh, I didn't even mean to make that joke, but that's a pretty good joke. It's your fault, I see. So right now we can climb out of bounds, and for some reason there's a there's a wall here that we can jump across. Also, you're gonna hear me spamming space pretty hard. Because you need to keep Why jumping. Don't you just free scroll your jump. Because uh, it makes you go slower if you jump like on the first frame that you hit the floor. You have to. You can't like walk on the wall, otherwise you fall off a bit. You have to keep jumping. And here's a nice view of the city, but because I play with all of the graphics on the lowest. It's uh, not very pretty, so sorry. But yeah, we're just gonna ride the elevator to the top, follow the, the helicopter for good luck on the server room skip, which is coming up. Also, and now I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> um, so. This is like a pretty good RNG part actually, it's like the only major RNG part in the run. But usually if you get it first try then you're golden. Which I didn't. I got it second try. So uh, you can vault the top of this thing for some reason. It just lets you go over the top and then you clip back in bounds. Usually you would have to disable the servers and then... Like you'd have to disarm the guard and then shoot all the servers and then you go up to the top. And now we're gonna quit out and reload here to skip this cutscene. Because cutscenes are bad. And then if we go too fast here it's also gonna not let us finish the game so we have to kinda go slow. I'm gonna slide under here. I'm gonna jump and time. It's pretty good. It's actually not, not pretty good, but yeah. Uh, that would be my TV in game time? Probably not. Let me see, in game time that was. 37.28. Simply at the feet. You got, you got any final words, my man? Uh. No. All right, Thanks for happy. watching the thing and host the channel, please. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good to run, not gonna lie.